speak very briefly on the, the racial tensions that we're seeing um, currently in, in America. Um, very briefly, it's the fulfillment of, of, of prophecy. Matthew 24, um, Mark 13, Luke 21. We have in those, those particular chapters a response from Christ when asked a question about the end of the world. Something to do with the destruction of the temple. But he uses the, 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 the destruction of the temple to typify the end of the world. In Matthew 24, we, we, we hear about pestilence, um, famine, war, and, and so on and so forth, rumors of war. But it says, nation shall rise against nation. Now, if you look at the original Greek translated into the English word nation, it's, it's the word ethnos. It was a Greek word used to, to kind of differentiate between groups of people or to um, basically describe different groups of people, ethnos. The, the modern word, the word that we use now is race. So Matthew 24, it, when it says nation shall rise against nation, could also be written, what it would be written now, race shall rise against race. Um, so what, what we're seeing in America right now is a fulfillment of prophecy. It's a clear sign that, that, that shows us that we're very near the end. And what should that prompt us to do? Matthew 24 and verse 14, it says um, that we should preach the gospel of the kingdom in all the world for a witness. Can we end these things by protest? No, we can't. What we need to do, the answer to the, the problems that we're seeing is the gospel. 